Unlike many other computing devices, PC offer extensive customization options. Users can choose their preferred hardware components such as processors, graphics cards, storage drives, and peripherals to suit their specific needs and budget. Number 1. We have Acer Aspire TC1760U Anonymity 2 Desktop. The enthusiast enthusiasts opine about this product inch. I watch a lot of videos and now that I have a modern computer I can enjoy 4K videos without any problems. I also dabble in music editing and this machine processes large web files quickly. I don't do gaming so I can't comment on performance there. In addition to video and music tasks, I do basic household stuff like working on budgets, browsing the web and ordering online, checking news and weather. My only minor complaint is that the included optical drive is the flimsy laptop style, and worse, it's mounted vertically. I can't trust good disks to that kind of drive so I've ordered a kit to let me use a formerly internal drive via USB for my DVD watching and music extracting needs. I'm not going to deduct any stars for that however. Since it's getting rare to find any optical drive included with a computer at all, the design is beautiful. If it had a more traditional front panel, perhaps one could install an internal optical drive. But with this design, there is no place for a disk tray to operate. You can however install an additional hard drive and they even include a SATA cable in the box. And you can actually see an extra power cable available through the side panel. Windows 11 took some getting used to. But I've adapted from being a Windows 7 user since 2009. As I write this, I've owned the tower for almost one month. I'm very happy with the performance, quality and beauty of the Acer Aspire TC1760U Anonymity 2 desktop. Number 2. Dell XPS 8960 Desktop The enthusiast enthusiast opined about this product inch. Bought this computer for picture design. Perfect, I had issues splitting SSD. But after numerous times, Finally got C drive to the size Papa Bear was happy with. Windows 11 Pro answers all question. No need for books, really surprised. Got a killer Wi-Fi, great graphics card with 8 dedicated to graphics, yes, naturally. Now I'm wondering if I can add a SSD to the computer. Now number 3. Dell XPS 8960 Gaming Desktop Computer The enthusiast enthusiast so pined about this product inch. The machine is a huge upgrade for me personally. Though I noticed the listing is for an any 13000 k and I received an any 13000 kf I have only noticed one issue so far and that is when the machine goes to sleep the fans kick on and stay on like it is at full usage. While it is like this the keyboard and mouse are lit out and the power button blank, but I am unable to wake the machine up, resulting in a force shutdown. Need to note that I had this happen and it would not power back on until I switched out the power cable. I plan to upgrade the RAM so that issue may be resolved that way. Outside of the difference in processor, everything seems to be working well. 4 is Lenovo Legion Tower 7. Enthusiast enthusiast so pined about this product inch. I did a lot of research before deciding to buy this PC and even after placing my order I was concerned if I was doing the right thing. I was going to build my own PC but after seeing how this PC is equipped I decided for the money this was a better deal if it was any good. After having received the PC the first thing I discovered is that it came better equipped than was described. This difference is in the form of one more case fan than was described. One case fan is really not going to save the world but in my book it shows they care more about your rig being cool and lasting longer than just making a buck. My first impression was that this PC is a thing of beauty right out of the box. I had called Lenovo customer service before my PC arrived to scrutinize their support and they actually surprised me with their knowledge and dedication. You can indeed order many upgrade parts from Lenovo without having to worry how it will work in your PC. Their prices are right in line with Newegg and Amazon for the parts I inquired about. The PC itself impressed me with the size of the CPU air cooler which is bigger than most you can buy. Keeming my PC runs about 40 degrees C on the CPU and about 42 to 45 on the GPU. The highest temp I have seen was 7 tick in the GPU for a short time under heavy load. I am happy now gaming at 4 120s on my brand new Visio M50 QXM 50 inch TV purchased here on Amazon. I want to emphasize that my gaming is light duty and your results may vary. If you overclock and like to try parts from other makers this probably is not the PC for you but if you want reliable and long lasting then this is your PC. Lenovo sells a 360 mAh liquid CPU cooler for this PC for $188 690 MB PH5H4060 3365 so parts are available for upgrade. There is also a 240 mAh available but that one I didn't ask about. If you game lightly then I highly recommend this PC. Update. 6 months in and it still works awesome. Love this machine. Lenovo support is amazing as well. Call them for minor software issues and they are experts. Edit, 10 months in and zero problems still does everything I need. Lenovo support is top notch. 
4K fun. Last number 5, Lenovo Idea Century IO3 2023. The enthusiast enthusiast opine about this product inch, waited too long to update an old system, and wasn't sure what to get next laptop, family PC, gaming and at what price point, but this all-in-one unit is great. The cost was about $700 with an extra 8GB RAM upgrade. It does everything we need to do, and quickly. Setup was smooth. The initial issue was a dead battery. Batteries included in the mouse, as a setup step required mouse access, but no light shows you it was dead, so we just swapped that out. Enough USB inputs, maybe four to handle external drives, printers. The Windows 11 is what it is, what happened to the crop command and paint, so that's not a factor. We had it about two months and has made us completely forget the old, slow, PC it replaced, a nice item at a nice price.